Oh, 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 oh boy, we are so back right now. We're so back. Yes, it is time. The moment we have all been waiting for. The video that has taken me over a month to do. Uh, not just because of the video, but because of other factors. Uh, it's taken me a long time to make this video, which is why there's only been one video in the past month. So, we are finally here, going back, and we're playing every LEGO Harry Potter game. Yes, it is indeed time to be doing some goofy shenanigans once more. I, it's so good to be back. But first off, I want to say that in this video, we are going to be looking at Harry Potter years 1 through 4. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at years 5 through 7. And maybe a little bit of bonuses. But uh, I just want to say that we're not doing both games in one video like I originally planned. Because I like having an upload schedule. And if I were to do both games... You'd probably be waiting another week or two for this video to drop, so instead I'm gonna drop a slightly shorter, uh, more in-depth look at this first game, years 1 through 4, and then give you guys a little taste of what's to come in the next video, part 2, you could say. I used to do this a lot, but I kinda stopped doing it, but here we are, we're going back to the two-parters, guys. Hope you're excited for that. Alright, without further ado, let's get in. To the video but before we get started with this video i have to address the elephant in the room jk rowling sucks we all know that she is not a very good person now whenever harry potter gets brought up she also gets brought up because obviously she wrote the books now even though she sucks i am still a big fan of harry potter i I've read the books, I've watched all the movies many times, I have a staggering collection of LEGO Harry Potter sets that, uh, let's just say, is a lot of money spent, and I'm doing this video on the games, which I played a lot as a kid, but uh, I, I do want to state that I don't support anything she said, she is not a very good person, I don't, she is very whack, we don't like her around here. Whoever you are, whatever you are, I don't really care. You're welcome in this community regardless of race, religion, sexuality. I don't care. You are welcome in this community. Well, except if you're, you know, racist or homophobic, to be quite quite blank with you. If you are, and if you are, in that case, uh, don't hit yourself with the door on the way out. See you later. See you, see you later. I... See you later, you're just, so you're just not welcome here if you're doing that. But, if you're just being a normal person, living your best life, then you are very, very welcome here. And I do want to say, if J.K. Rowling does upset you and you don't feel comfortable supporting her, quote-unquote, even though I don't, uh, if you don't want to do any of that or you don't want to interact with anything Harry Potter for good reason, to be honest, uh, here's another video, top card right there, go watch that one instead, where I talk about some other, uh, goofy, uh, Lego games, and, uh, that video will be a lot better for you, and, yeah, that, that's all I wanted to say, uh, to the video now, wahoo. Lego Harry Potter is a very nostalgic game for me. This was another game I played a lot as a kid, and I did truly enjoy it. But how has it held up after so many years? Because this game's getting pretty old now. Well, the game is both really good, and also oddly mid somehow. Alright, let me see if I can explain my reasoning here. First things first, this just seems like an extremely odd game for LEGO to make. On paper, this seems like an amazing game to make. A LEGO game where you play as a wizard, getting to use your different spells for a truly unique LEGO game experience. Sounds amazing! So, why did I say it was kind of mid? You see, the first few Harry Potter movies aren't very reliant on... Action. 
I mean, Harry only casts like two spells in the first two movies. They're a lot more reliant on character development and seeing how the characters change throughout the movies. Of course, a LEGO game can't really do that, and it just leaves everything feeling kind of empty. Not to mention that this is an adaptation of a adaptation, so a lot is completely lost in translation and makes this game feel super rusted despite it being really long for a LEGO game. Like, this game is really, really long, but somehow feels rust. Again, it's just because of the goofy translations here, we're trying to adapt, like, they adapted the books into movies, and now they adapted this movie into a game, and, like, I want to say, like, 60% of the story is just kind of gone, so, it, it was to be expected, but, like, also, definitely interesting. But to fully explain what I'm talking about before I get tomatoes thrown at me, we gotta talk about the overall gameplay, because I think that will expose uh, why I think the way I think about this game, and why I said it could possibly be the Forbidden Mid. Overall, the concept of the spell wheel is a really cool concept, and actually works great at some points. However, at other points, it really doesn't. The spells are really rarely used for anything interesting or unique, and most of the time you're just spamming Wingardium Leviosa and not really using anything else except, except like a few spells to go take out certain enemies. But like, other than the Goofy Dementor spell, you're not using anything else. And by the way, you only really use the Dementor spell in Book 3. You don't use it anywhere really else. So, there you go. I don't even know what the Goofy Disarm spell thing does. They give you an entire tutorial on how to use it, but... I couldn't get it to do anything that the other spells couldn't, so like, why is it even here? Why is it even in the game? And this ties into this game's biggest flaw. It's really super boring. This is probably one of the least interesting LEGO games I've played, and I've played a lot of goofy LEGO games. Now, again, this doesn't mean it's all bad, and we'll get to some really good stuff in a minute, but I'd also be lying if I said throughout most of the game, it really wasn't very enjoyable. However, this becomes less and less of an issue as the game goes on, and Book 4 is the least boring and also least scuffed. Honestly, Book 4 just... It's just good, unlike some of the earlier books. Book 3 and Book 4 really carry this game, let me tell you. However, again, Book 1 and 2 are just a slog to play through, and at times, for example, the first Quidditch game in Book 1, it sounds really cool, right? The opportunity to play through a Quidditch game in a LEGO game sounds so fun. But no, we are stuck playing as Hermione and Ron, Ron trying to stop William Afton looking goober from rigging the game. So we're just walking around shooting spells again, like we've been doing the entire game. There's, there's no variety here. If this isn't even an exclusive issue to book one, you never get to play an actual game of Quidditch in the entire game. Literally, what's the point? It's, it's, why, why have the Quidditch thing here if you don't get to play any of it? Like, God, I, I, I get maybe in the first, first book because you're trying to stop the goofy purple guy, but like, it doesn't like, at least let us play a section of it, please. 
This game is truly the best when we're not at Hogwarts just walking around doing random tasks for more spells we'll never use. Like, again, like half the spells in this game I don't understand. They don't make any sense. And half the goofy tasks we're doing at Hogwarts, like, of course before like the end of the game, but like half of them don't really matter or care. You spend like 90% of your time in this game just walking around Hogwarts going from place to place. So you're going to the same places over and over again. I mean, it makes sense why, obviously, but I wish it would have been a bit more varied to also help with that boring issue. However, this doesn't mean the entire game is dull. I know I've been kind of crapping on this game a lot, but it's actually not bad. The outside sections are actually really good. Like, whenever you go to Hagrid, those sections are really good. And overall, it's just an amazing change of pace. There's a fight with this big, goofy Spider-Man. Uh, not Spider-Man, but like, you know, the goofy big spider, Aragog, I believe. And they legit have a Warthog run ah uh, section straight out of Halo 3. I kid you not, this is so, so goofy. Same with the final levels of each book, they're a great sense of pace. I will say though that the ending of book 1 is definitely the worst. Willy Ham Afterman, or I don't know, I forgot the guy's name, whoever the purple man with Voldemort on the back of his head is, uh, just kinda dies without doing much. Now, I know that's lore accurate, because again, he just kinda dies in the movie, but like, I would've. You could take some creative liberties, spice up the boss fight a little bit more. Would JK Rowling really be that mad with you? He does it all the time, okay? Although, I will say, it's the first boss fight, it's still a good final boss. And also, the final boss of the game is just great. And another part of the final boss that I think is just great, not only is the boss cool and it's a cool little section, but uh, this game also looks really good for the time. Yeah, it might not be able to stack up to how modern LEGO games look, but it's still, it's still just fantastic. It's fantastic. I, I love it. It is so good. Overall, this game is still super nostalgic, and if you're a fan of Harry Potter, this game will be some great fun for a while. Although I would not recommend binging this game like I did. This game is a lot better when you are when you take your time with it. And also when you're not trying to make a video on it. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a fun game. Alright everyone. Thanks for watching. As fun as this video was, I am glad it is now over so I can go enjoy myself for a little bit and play some Helldivers 2 as a reward. Spreading democracy, one world at a time. What? I still have an entire other game to talk about? Fuuuuck.